one pound of ground beef. I chop the onion very finely in a food processor, like this. All right, this is one pound of the ground beef, and I add a one grated onion and like a one third of the jalapeno. I grate that one too, or chop it finely, and a few stem of a, a parsley, flat leaf parsley. And I'm going to add some pepper and turmeric and salt. I'm going to mix it with the hand. I'm grabbing this small amount of the mixed ground beef I made and I make a round out of it and I make a little bit of meatballs. My meatballs is kind of small. I kind of like the smaller meatball than large. See? Yeah. Here I warm up the three tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm using a canola, and I'm gonna put my meatballs. Uh, in a hot pan over the oil and I'm gonna stir fry it don't overload the pan you don't want it to steam you want it to be fried so it has to have a distance and I put this on the medium high heat and I'm gonna stir fry it. See how my meatball is stay together. I didn't add any bread crumb or an egg or a bread dough. Only things I did when I made the meat ready, I put them in the refrigerator for 24 hours. It get a sticky itself without adding anything extra. Look at that, it takes five or six minutes to my meatball gets ready very fast you could make a sandwich out of it you can put them in the stew yeah, you can put it up on top of the rice with a variety of the rice dishes it would serve but today I'm gonna make fesenja which is a pomegranate stew and uh, it would serve over the rice and it has walnut in it Okay, I'm going to remove this and put this aside now. I chop one small onion to small pieces and I add the same frying pan which I just removed the meatballs. To speed up, I'm going to put the lid on. I put the walnut inside my food processor to chop it. For myself, I chop the walnut finely, I mean very fine, but I'm gonna make this for a friend of mine, which she likes her fesenjun more chunky, she likes to uh, bite in a walnut, so I'm gonna cut it coarsely, but I personally prefer to be a fine chop. I guess it's a matter of their preferences. This is my onion, it's golden. And this is my walnut, which I put them in the food processor and grind it. Normally I do make it a smaller piece than that, but because my friend like it, 
uh, to come under her teeth kind of like it being crunched has something to chew on so I didn't grind it farther okay I've been stir frying my walnut a little to change the color I could smell it it's toasted already gonna add a little vegetable oil here my walnut changed color and is releasing the oil and I'm gonna add some pomegranate paste this is a sour pomegranate paste if you do not like it to be sour later on you could add some sugar you see this foaming stuff this is the time to add the pomegranate some people call it the pomegranate molasses smells good pomegranate tastes really good look how thick it is you could see it you see it wow very nice Okay, you see it's kind of boiling. Now it's the time. Normally we add water, but I am gonna add pomegranate juice. This is a pomegranate juice. If you look in the lid, it says only pomegranate. Pomegranate juice, and this one is just a plain pomegranate juice. You cannot use those pomegranate which he has raspberry or blueberry in it. This is just plain pomegranate juice, hundred percent pomegranate juice. As a matter of fact, the pomegranate juice here in America is kind of sweet, so it would balance that sauce. Maybe you don't even need to add any sugar. But with all means, if you like it sweeter, you could add sugar. It's a start boiling. I'm gonna add my meatball, which I just stir fry to it. I'm add it little by little. I I like it to be in the right portion. I don't want to have too much meatball in it. I'm gonna put it in medium heat and I'm gonna put the lid on until you're gonna have a layer of the walnut oil come on top of the stew. That's the time it's ready if you think it's not thick enough uh, you could add uh, some of those uh, fried onion I had from Tra Trader Joe's uh, you could get some of that and use a couple tablespoons in it my thickness is good but just show you how I'm gonna add in it I'm gonna add a little and uh, you see how dark it is it's an eggplant color kind of like a burgundy and I'm gonna test this mm. it's sweet and sour for me it's good but if you think it's too sour you could add some sugar in it as much you want 
this is ready okay my pheasant john is ready and i'm serving it over white rice those are my meatballs you see that the meatballs i have it on top of the zafrani rice and that's a white basmati rice let's give it a try look at that what do you think wow it's a sweet it's sour it's very delicious very deep pomegranate taste in it the meatball is a cooked very well the saffron in the rice it's really nice combination with this walnut and pomegranate juice and pomegranate paste 